for people across the Hudson Valley returning to work in person. Metro North is increasing service to meet the demand. News 12's Michelle Brown has that story and what you can expect when you head back on the train. As COVID positivity numbers continue to decline across the tri-state, Metro North is looking to get fully back on track. The railroad announcing starting June 21st, it's adding 24 new peak hour trains to the Harlem, Hudson and New Haven lines. Each line will get eight trains. The additional trains will bring Metro North service to about 67% of pre-pandemic levels. I think it's great. I'm just so excited that we're kind of getting back to normal. The president of Metro North issuing a statement saying in part, Metro North is increasing service to meet the demand that we are seeing, and we couldn't be happier to be welcoming so many of our customers back. Metro North's increase in service comes as more and more companies are demanding that employees return to the office. At Bank of America, one of the biggest banks on Wall Street, employees are encouraged to get back to work in person. As more people get vaccinated, we keep bringing more back. And at investment bank Morgan Stanley, most employees are already back at their desks. The company's CEO not mincing words. If you can go to a restaurant in New York City, you can come into the office. And we want you in the office. Patrick Blacksley says additional train service should make it a little easier for those employees reluctant to return to work in the city. If you have a train every half hour, you know, <laughs> and everyone's wearing their masks, then, you know, yeah, I think it's a good thing. Metro North says a more significant change, which will increase weekday service to 83% of pre-pandemic levels, will take place August 29th. In White Plains, Michelle Brown, News 12. Metro North says on June 1st, it set a pandemic ridership record with nearly 95,000 trips taken.